Okay, so today we're going to look at maps. Uh, basically, they're an associative container, very, very similar to a Python dictionary. Since we've all learned Python dictionaries, I think this is uh, going to be not that hard to, to learn. So the first thing that we have to do in order to use this is we have to include map. So we've done that at the top. Now notice that when we create a map, um, we're going to, like creating a vector, we create the types inside the angle brackets. And in this case, the first, the two types which are uh, associated with the key and the value are separated by a comma. Also, please note that there is a, I would say, more Python-like map called an unordered map, and we'll, we'll show that in a moment. But for now, let's just use a simple map, and the name of the variable is called, I'm calling it name age. So just like in Python, exactly the same, you can add um, key value pairs simply by using the same notation as in Python, right? Square brackets uh, containing the key and equals the value. So we've now added some things to this map aka dictionary. We can also erase things out of it by supplying the key. Okay? We can also iterate over the map in a number of different ways. Okay? Actually, I think there's like a uh, few different ways to do that here. So, the first way to iterate over them is to use the iterators begin and end. Now, here in this example, I'm specifying that iterator i is of type map with string, comma, int as the key value pair. However, I can do this in a slightly easier way. Watch. Notice here that I, I'm actually creating i outside of the for loop before going in. So it's just like a regular for loop. But what if I created the i inside the for loop? So you can see I've commented out these first two lines and I've copied the for loop line. And here what I'm going to do is instead of typing out this long map string int iterator i, I'm just going to say uh, auto, oops, i equals. And let's see if this works. OK, good point. I actually forgot to mention here that, so just a uh, pause in, for a moment from what we were doing. Notice that in this line 13, I'm re-assigning uh, the key bob to a different number, this will overwrite the previous value of 23. Okay, so obviously in a map, map keys have to be unique, just like dictionaries in Python. Okay, so if we provide the same key, it's just going to overwrite the value from what it was before. Okay, let's get back to here. Notice in this example, I've replaced the the for loop. I'm in declaring and initializing i, but this time I'm using the auto keyword, and let's see if that works. Okay, so I ran into a little issue. This version of iterating is the C++ 17 version, and my compiler won't do that um, automatically unless I specify C++ 17 uh, as um, in the in the in the compile arguments so now let's try this just line 20 using auto and let's see if that works and it does 
So essentially, I have circumvented, I'm circumventing typing. Now, I could have typed all this in here too, by the way. I could have typed in, like, right here, instead of typing auto, I could have typed in map uh, string, comma, int, and then like this, and then iterator, like that. And, and that, that'll work too. So if I, if I compile this, and that, that works fine as well. No issues there. However, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's probably easier just to type in auto. Uh, because, well, it's just shorter and you don't have to worry as much. It'll, the, the compiler will figure out the, the type and uh, infer it. So, there you go. Um, however, that's one way to iterate, you, and this is using iterators. Okay, so you're going to start from begin, and you're going to say, and here I'm using not equal to name, but I can also do, uh, I can also replace that like this, and let's see if that goes. Uh oh, no, wait a minute, that didn't work. Okay, so that failed. And the reason that failed, um, and when I say what's failing specifically, is that I had less than. So we had to actually go and take a look at the um, documentation for um, iterators. And so if we go back here and we show we're in, we're in map, and in a map, uh, our iterator is bidirectional. Okay, and so when we when we show what that is, the the bidirectional iterator doesn't have a less than here, so we can't do that. Whereas a random access iterator has a less than, and this one um, was from vector. Okay, so this one was from the vector class. So the vector class you can use for the random access iterator. You can use less than. And it's right there. But also, just for curiosity's sake, I mean, I actually think this has to do with how it's stored in memory. Um, because strings and vectors are contiguous, so you can have a random access iterator. Uh, and so here's the string one, right, as well. And you can have less than. But so what that means for our code is that for our code, we have to therefore use not equal to here. And so um, that will work. And it does. OK, so here's another uh, really important point. Under map, uh, the description here in th this highlighted blue part says that the map t uh, container this keys are the sorted in a, in a strict weak ordering criterion. However, map containers are generally slower than unordered map containers to access individual elements by their key, but allow direct iteration on subsets based on their order. So from that, it's it's clear to me that the unordered map is What the what Python is actually using, uh, and so here it says if, if for the unordered map, uh, obviously the keys are unique. Internally, the elements of unordered map are not sorted in any particular order with respect to their keys or map values, but organized each, organized into buckets depending on their hash values. So unordered maps are faster than map containers to access individual elements. So to me, if it seems to me like this is the definitely the one that Python is using is the unordered map because this is uh, this is faster. So and I and I don't need any type of order for the for the maps that I would be using in in the examples that I'm using. So that's kind of interesting. All right. So I've changed my uh, code uh, instead of including 
map, I'm including unordered map here on line 3. And then here on line 10, I am um, declaring name age to be an unordered map. And so this will work just fine as well. If I compile and run this, it's OK. Uh, however, let's continue to look at the different ways in which we can iterate over the map. So again, this first example here is using iterators, begin and end. And the way to access the key and the value is through the iterator i. Okay? So here is going to be the first time that you're going to, to see these two characters. We'll come back to this when we learn about pointers. But essentially, um, this is uh, like dereferencing a member of this iterator. So it's called the arrow. And it consists of two characters. Um, it's like minus sign and then greater than right next to each other. And so this, this whole like, co this entire code right there, all of that, i dash greater than first, is one thing. That will return the key. Okay, and then i second with the arrow will give you the value. Okay, so that's that's the syntax for using. It's, it, it might be a little unintuitive because you might think, okay, you, you could just use dot. Well, guess what? So they did that here using, using auto. You can use, for the iterator, you can use dot. Okay? So you can use dot first and dot second. And so x ends up being, x really isn't here, isn't an iterator. So I apologize, let me correct myself. X is not an iterator. X is um, the elements in the container. Okay? And those elements in the container contain a key pair, a key value pair. And so x.first gives the key, and x.second gives the value. And that's, that's a C11 feature. Um, by the way, just also to remind us that unordered map was also a, um, this was also C11 as well. So not that it matters now, C11 is quite standard. However, there's another way to do this in C17, okay? So, and it's this here. So this third way of iterating, basically now what you say is you say k and v will be the key value variables. Iterate over the container map name age. And now we don't have to do any first or last, or sorry, first or second. We can just specify the key and the value uh, explicitly as we iterate through the map. However, in this case, we will have to change how we compile the program. So let's look at that. So notice here, when I compile it without uh, C++17 standard, I get this warning here for the auto line that's in 17. And it even tells me how to fix the issue. And so therefore, I compiled it again, this time with the uh, C++17 standard. And your, obviously your operating system and your um, C++ compiler has to be new enough to have that. And mine does. And so bingo, this time when I, and even like I can do it with wall and it shouldn't give me any uh, warnings at all. There you go. Okay. And so I can run it now and um, it's, it should be okay. So there you go. So the, the last part um, of using maps or dictionaries that I wanted to show you is how to find if a key exists in the map. 
So here is the line. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to say the map.find Bob. And if it's not equal to the end, then I have found it. And so, because you see, if I if I try doing this, like watch, if I if I do a C out here that does not exist, so if I went C out name age, and I said uh, you know something like um, uh, Bill or something, because I don't I don't have Bill, so at this point. What's going to happen? Is it going to throw a compile time error? What's what kind of an error is this going to be? Let's try it and see. Okay, so um, let's take this out first again because I'm not using the new compiler. So okay, and let's run it. So notice this totally fails uh, as it should. Uh, the reason why it fails is because uh, I can't actually, oh, wait a minute, I messed up. My bad. Let me try that again. I messed up. My, sometimes Python messes things up. This is supposed to be a string. Okay, you can't use single quotes, right? Okay, let's try this one more time. So this should fail. Okay, this should fail. Let's put that should fail. And let's let's see what happens. Okay, so interesting, it doesn't fail. It gives me 0. That's interesting. So it doesn't quite fail. It it just says it just gives me 0 as the value. Now, I'm curious if I change this back, if I if I also uh, include Let's just include. I mean, I'm curious if this is going to be the same thing, uh, but I'm going to include map here, and I'm going to change this back to instead of an unordered map. Let's just make this a map again, and let's just see if this fails again. Okay, so it un, so very much unlike Python, Python would fail in this situation. C++ is not. So here's that was interesting. So. Um, Let's actually change that back to unordered, and uh, let's come down here, and let's say this does not fail. It produces zero. Should fail. That's wrong. It just returns zero. Okay. So s even though build is not in there. Okay. Now, if I if I did this, if I did something like if I change this, if I change this thing to Bill, right? And then I went if I have now an else, okay? I could say C out uh, something like Bill is not uh, a key in the map. Okay, so let's try this. Oops, I made a mistake somewhere. I think it's because I'm not using braces. Let's try. Let's see what's that error again. Okay. Let's let's try and fix this here. Well, guys, guess what? I just found something out myself today. There's a difference between using the square brackets and using dot at for a map. So when you use the square brackets, even though we're just trying to print something out here, it'll actually not only return, because of the C out, right? We're, we'll not only return 0, but it also adds that key value pair to the dictionary. Even though we're not explicit, explicitly using equals, it's almost like saying 
uh, it's almost like saying uh, name, age, oops, uh, bill like this equals zero. That's what it's that's what it's basically like doing, because it assigns zero to the value of the key bill just by trying to print it out. That's why this didn't work before. So even though um, I, I thought, okay, Bill's not in the dictionary. Well, guess what? It was because of the C out statement. So in this case, I've commented it out, and I went to the I went to the um, uh, documentation, and so for unordered map, the answer to this is actually uh, let's kind of go down to the uh, square bracket operator. And uh, so let's go back here. I'll show you it was here. So right, where is the square bracket operator? There it is. So there's a difference between these two guys right here. So operator square brackets, notice here it says, if k does not match the key in an element in a container, the function inserts a new element with that key and returns a reference to its own. Yeah. So that's what it's doing there, is that if it doesn't exist, it puts one in with a default argument of zero, in this case, uh, for an integer. However, um, if we go back and we take a look at dot at, this one throws an exception. So if we go to our code, and if I, if I, go, if I try and run this one, line 36 should actually fail and it wait did I save this oh that's because it's Bob not Bill let me fix this hold on <laughs> there we go okay so let's try this again yay okay so it failed can't believe I'm happy that it failed so there's that's where it failed because Bill doesn't exist inside the map and so even though th this one fails this one does not this one actually see like if I if I put if I take this out here and I leave this one in notice now if I run it uh, it's not gonna fail on line 35 it'll just it'll just put zero in and and then notice that it doesn't say down here it doesn't say build is not is not a key in the map because now it is simply by for the fact that we pr we tried to print out something that wasn't in it so once again if i comment this line out and let's leave the line below commented as well so it actually runs now watch what happens when i run this if i run it now it says bill is not a key in the map okay so essentially i need i i need this if statement on line 38 to test to see if that key is in the map. And if it's not in the map, then I can do something appropriately. And I'm not going to have uh, default assignment or um, other some other thing. Okay. Now, here, obviously, this doesn't quite make sense. If I should actually type in bill here. Okay, because if it is in there, then I want the I want the uh, value of Bill, not of Bob. In any case, um, you know, if I was to come up, come back up here and add another one here for Bob, or for Bill, I should say, right? And so now, now it should be okay. Yeah. See, so now we get eight in the in the if statement because it's there. Okay, so that was the uh, lesson introduction to maps in C plus plus.